everyone, this is Robin and welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I have a super beautiful slash gorgeous slash amazing card to share with you today. This is something that you could use for a Christmas card. There's still time to order from my online shop and have this to you in time to turn around and make for some of your special guests at a Christmas party or if you have family members to attach to a present, this is a very elegant and beautiful card. You can also use this card for New Year's. So this is, you're gonna love this, we're embossing, and it's very simple, anyone can make this card. So even if you've never embossed before, I'm going to walk you step by step how to make this project. So I'm using Watercolor Christmas Stamp Set. Now I'm using the Clear Mount Stamp, which means it comes with foam that you can just attach to any of our clear mount blocks. You can also get this, the red rubber in the wood mounted stamps. I don't use the wood mounted stamps anymore, but if you'd like the wood, then those come in those as well. Okay, so I'm just using the Oh Joy from this, but there's so many cute, I've, there's so many cute images and sentiments on here so you can use this for many projects. This would be a great just winter card as well. Um, you don't have to make them Christmas trees. All right, I have decided that one card would be great to demonstrate, but why not show you how to make two cards? So if you're making one, you might as well make two. This card, we're going to be using the Big Shot as well as the Heat Tool. I am going to have everything on the screen that I use along with the item code to make it super simple for you. So if you need to pause it and write these down on a paper, everything I use and the sizes of the cardstock will be displayed below. And I'll also have them in the description of this video to make it easier as well. All right, so let's start with our big shot. Well, actually, no, we're not gonna start with the big shot. We're gonna start with the embossing. The embossing first. I will tell you everything that we're going to use. So I just have just a scrap piece of our Whisper White regular cardstock. So this is just Whisper White. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a piece of our grid paper. I love our grid paper. It's great for when you're, if you have a workspace that you wanna keep clean, or if you're stamping off something, this is perfect for that as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm using our embossing buddy. This helps with static when you're embossing so you don't get the little flecks of embossing powder that stick everywhere. So I just did a quick little swipe of that. And now I'm going to use our Versamark ink and I'm using the O Joy stamp from the Watercolor Christmas stamp set. I'm also using gold emboss powder that I have just put in this little plastic container just to make it easy to apply and to add and to store. So what I'm going to do, now I'm doing two at one time so I can go ahead and have everything ready to go. I'm going to stamp it up in the Versamark first. It's our watermark pad, but it's also perfect. I think I'm gonna do it this way actually just to make sure I have room. Stamp one and stamp two. Now I kind of have to be fairly quick. It does stay sticky and moist. Is that the right word? I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly add that on there. Woo! And the good thing about the paper behind it is if it slips on the paper, I can just put it in my garbage can. Not a big deal. So that's all that we're going to be using those for. Now I'm gonna pull out my heat tool. And this is the Stampin' Up! Heat Tool. It has two settings. One is for setting your ink if you're using a, our basic black archival and you'd like to watercolor with it with our just regular markers. You can heat set it, but two is for melting. It gets really hot. So I'm just going to put this on here and you should be able to see it change consistency in just a few seconds. It just takes a few seconds. You see how it's changing and getting shiny and gorgeous and beautiful. Okay. I don't know why I'm holding it weird. It's okay if it gets a little curly. You do not want to use this to dry your hair. This is way too hot. It will burn you and probably start fire to your hair. Let's not be the first person that finds that out. <laughs> way too hot. And you cannot do this technique with a blow dryer. That does not work either. All right, so I'm setting that aside. Okay, now let's pull out our big shot. 
This is the Stampin' Up! Big Shot. And I love it. It's my best friend. Besides my best friend, Carly, this is my other best friend. So I am going to put this on here. And I'm using, I hope I gave myself enough room. I think I did. And if I didn't, I'll have to do it again. Okay, so I'm just going to put the Old Joy right here. And I use the Precision Base Plate for everything. I know there are some that say don't use it for your shapes. It might break them or warp them. I use it on probably thousands. My assistant and I, and I've never had, knock on wood, I have never had one of my shapes um, break from it. So I love it because I know for sure I can also do two pieces of cardstock at one time if I need to with my Precision Base Plate. And I just love it. So I use it for all of my thinlets that are a little more intricate, my edgelets, and just my shapes as well. So it's really preference. You find what's working best for you. I've been doing this a long time and this is what works best for me in my craft room, my craft studio, my pink loft. All right, the next thing I'm going to do and these are our layering ovals, I forgot to say. I'll put these on the screen and you'll see everything that comes with our layering ovals framelit set. It also comes with scalloped ovals. Now I'm using the next size up and I'm using our gold glimmer paper and it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous and gold. And I'm gonna run this through as well. And then I'm going to bring this back around. And some of my customers, you may have received one of these in the mail because for the first week, I think it's first or second week of November for my thank you cards, I put one of these in there as a surprise. So I thought, oh, this is so gorgeous. So if you're one of my customers, you get a hand stamped and a handmade card from me. And I have a new design every single week. So if you happen to place more than one order a month, you're getting a different card, which is Hopefully super fun for you. All right, let me set that aside for a second. This is my Stampin' Trimmer. And now I have our gold foil sheets right here and we're going to be in a, a dry embossing. And I want them cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And remember I'm doing two at a time, so I'm gonna do two, three and three quarters by five inches. All right, and now while I have my trimmer, I'm also going to take a piece of our thick Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to cut this at five and a half. And then I'm going to also score. I love our Stampin' Trimmer because it has a scoring blade on it. I made a weird angle here. <laughs> so I'm going to score this at four and a quarter, and that way when I fold it over, I don't get those bumps, you know, those when you're using really thick cardstock, sometimes you get those little bumpy bumps. So we're gonna avoid those by scoring it. Okay, set that aside. Now I'm going to change out my plates. And this is the one that comes with your Big Shot. So when you order a, when you order a Big Shot from my shopping page, it comes with your multi-purpose platform. You can also use that with the framelits and the thinlets, but I like the precision base plate. And sometimes I have promotions where you get a precision base plate if you order the Big Shot from me, but you'll just have to check with me and see what I have going on right now, um, if I have that promotion going or not. Okay, so this is the multi-purpose platform that comes with the Big Shot. You can also use this for the framelits as well. You just need to take off, it comes with a removable top plate and I've already removed it and I'm going to be embossing so I'm going to put one of the cutting pads down and then I have I think it's called falling snow I will have it on the screen falling snow embossing folder and I'm going to put our beautiful foil in here and I just close it shut put it on top of here and then I add the top of the cutting pad those also come with the big shot when you purchase it you're ready to go right out of the box when you get the big shot. And isn't it gorgeous, you guys? Look at that, it's so pretty! Oh my goodness, and it's even more pretty in per person. It's even more beautiful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. If you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, just hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to have you. I usually post, I try to post two to three times a week with a new video. 
Um, sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's five times a week. It just really depends on the month. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. And now we can go ahead, well, there's a little more cutting. There's one more cutting. I am using, this is some of our beautiful paper, and I don't remember, the, I think it's um, Here's to Cheers. I'll put it on the screen for you, the name of this paper. And I'm just using this piece here. It's one inch, I've cut it already one inch. And I'm going to use our trimmer and I'm gonna cut it to five inches. And then I'm pretty much ready to go. So if you're making a lot of these, for one sheet of this beautiful paper, you can get, you can make, what is the math on that? 12 times two, you can do 24 cards with just one sheet of this paper for the background, which is pretty amazing. Okay, we're gonna fold our Thick Whisper white cardstock in half. And this is our bone folder. And I've had questions about this when you score. There's a valley, so where you've scored into, and the other side is a mountain. You want the mountain on the inside. Your instinct will want the mountain to be on the outside, but you actually want the mountain on the inside, and that way it helps to avoid the bumpiness, the bumpies that you might get from that. So let's go ahead and start with these pieces that are embossed, and because they're embossed, and I just totally <laughs> put adhesive all over my table, because they're embossed, you wanna do all four sides, and this is how I do it. So if I was doing, let's say eight, or 12 of these cards, I would do all of this at one time. The great thing about our snail is it doesn't dry instantly, so it's just a tape runner, so you could do multiple at a time. So you don't have to do one card. You can, I call it mass producing. That's how I do my cards for my customers and for my team members. So now I'm going to take this strip here as well, and I'm going to pull it just put a little bit of adhesive, put as much or as little as you want. I use a lot of adhesive. <laughs> I like my projects and my cards to get to everybody and stay for years and years and years. Okay, I'm gonna add this right here. Ta-da! Okay, now we're going to take these pieces here and because we're adding it to glimmer paper, it's like kind of like glitter paper, so it does. It's not super messy, but it's beautiful, so it's worth it. But the regular tape runners don't, the snail adhesive don't stick very well, so I like to use glue dots just to make sure it's really in there. And it's gonna stay, I know it's gonna stay for a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna use my glue dots, put that on, attach it to the glimmer paper. I'm gonna do the other side as well. And I'll post a picture at the end of this video. So if you watch all the way to the end of the video, I'll just have one picture of everything I used so it's super easy for you. And then I'll have a picture to show you all the fun ones that I made for my customers. And like I said, some of you might have received this. You might say, oh, I got that. Well, now you know how to make it. I try to do a video for every card I design so that they're really super easy for you guys to um, make them yourself for your family and your friends. All right, so these are our metallic enamel metallic shapes. And I'm just gonna use one of the little circles. They come with silver and gold. And I'm using the gold just for the dot above the J, just to give it a little added embellishment. It's always fun to step up your project. Now I'm using our Stampin' Dimensionals. And I like to use four for an oval this size, just so it's nice and solid and secure on my, paper, on my card or my scrapbook page or my box, whatever I'm making. You can do so much with paper crafting. Um, you can do home decor. Like I said, memory keeping, scrapbooking. We have a whole memory keeping line. You can also do traditional scrapbooking as well. So I'm just going to add this on here. See my glitter is kind of everywhere. And then on here. So I hope you enjoyed my super quick and simple video of an elegant card that I promise you can make if you watch this video and I walk you through it step by step. So good luck. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe and check out my website, mypinksamper.com. See you soon. Bye-bye.